All right, this one's a little bit different. We want to solve the following for V. And the reason why this one is a little bit different is I have a V over here, but I also have another V sitting over there. And when you have more than one copy of the variable like this, you really have to work on getting them together before you can get into the isolating process. Uh, so let's take care of our fractions and then see if we can actually get those V's together and work on isolating it. Uh, because if we only isolate one of them, then it's not really solved. So we'd still have a V in there. All right, so to take care of our fraction, I will multiply both sides of this one by W. It is my common denominator. So RV plus Q all over W equals W times 5V. Okay, over on the left side, those W's would take care of each other. I'd be left with RV plus Q equals W times 5V. All right, so at least at this point, I don't have to deal with fractions, but notice we haven't got those V's any closer together, so let's keep working on that. Uh, let's see, well, if I'm going to get them together, I at least better get them on the same side of the equation, okay? So I'm going to subtract, uh, say, an RV from both sides. All right, now comes the fun part. I still have two Vs. I'm going to make them into one. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm really going to think of my distributive property, uh, but I'm going to think of it in the other direction. So if both of these have a V, then I will pull it out front. I'll be left with a W5 minus R. Now that step is a little bit tough when you see it at first, but notice how it really does work because I'm taking both of these and moving them out front into a single V. And again, if you're unsure if it's valid, go ahead and take the V and put it back in using your distributive property, and you'll see that you'll be right back at this step. So it really is valid. The important part of why we're using it, though, is now we only have a single V, and then we can work further by isolating it. So how do we get it all by itself? Well, V is being multiplied by 5W minus R, that entire thing inside parentheses. So we'll divide both sides by that, and then it should be all alone. So 5W minus R equals V. So I literally just took this entire thing right here and divided it on both sides. And sure enough, now I can call this one done because V is completely isolated. It's all alone. And there's no other V's running around in there. I worked hard to get them together, so I know it is completely solved.